Hey guys, so we're continuing where we left off and uh, the first thing uh, what I did is just change the radius to 0.04 and maybe even lower this down to 0.01 just a little bit might give it a bit more smoother look um, and now we should get going to making clovers so let's get started somewhere over here maybe so let's get the shape and what we need for a shape is a paraboloid and we need to make it a bit different so scale it down a little and we need to make it 0.7 so we need to kind of thin it out a bit we're going to do transformation 2d and we're just gonna do a really slight offset just a really slight one and after that we're gonna do a skew grayscale so skew grayscale and it's gonna be horizontal and the line is center and what we're gonna do with this you can also do this with transform 2d but i found this to be a bit better yeah minus 0.23 maybe Let's do 0.25, sounds like a better number. Uh, now we're gonna do mirror grayscale, and now it creates that kind of heart shape we need. After that, we're just gonna do a blend and gradient linear, and we're gonna blend these together on multiply. So let's do multiply. So we create that uh, fadeaway effect at the bottom exactly what we need and now we need a splatter circular and we do pattern input here and now we're, we need to mess around with this a little bit so pattern amount 5 uh, this all is left uh, pattern is image input of course radius uh, 18, let's do it like that maybe uh, ring radius multiplier that's all gonna be left out spread um, global offset this should be zero I don't know why it was that value there 0 0.1.1 scale scale yeah we need to get the scale up it to 5 yeah and I'm pretty sure that's it's, yeah, so we need to get this. This is the clover shape we're getting here. So now what we do with it, uh, we're gonna do a histogram scan, and that histogram scan is just gonna have a position of one. There we go, and we're gonna do a bevel node, and that bevel is gonna be really, really subtle. O2, but we do we do want to put a minus in there. We want to bevel it inwards. And what we also want to do is get auto levels here and the normal levels. And what we did with these levels is we brought the black value down a little bit here. And now blend. This goes to the top and this goes to the bottom. And we're gonna blend it on multiply. There we go. So we get a really nice looking clover shape with it. We can dock this by pressing D if you want. I, I don't really like docking it. I like uh, the way it looks like now. Uh, we're gonna do auto levels again. Just to get those values back up. Might not even be that necessary, but let's just do it for the sake of doing it. And now... Uh, we are doing a blend, but we don't have the foreground, what we're gonna plug it into. So, we're gonna grab another shape node. Shape, uh, shape, there it is. And this shape is again gonna be a pa pa paraboloid, sorry. And we're just gonna make it small. And we're gonna do a tile sampler. No, 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 tile sampler. 
There we go. And we're not going to put it in pattern input, we're going to put it in mask map input. And you're going to see exactly why that is. So here, we are also using a paraboloid. But let's first get this 30 by 30, we need a lot of them. Paraboloid. And let's just mess around. Scale. Scale 3.15. Scale random. 0.45 uh, this should be 0 I don't know why it's like this uh, let's see let's see let's see what else do we have here mask map we need to do mask map 0.17 ah there we go so that's it and I'm gonna do color random 2.1 yeah exactly so uh, what we did here is actually just uh, just a way to get the mid mid middle section of the flower. Uh, it's a bit weird, but it uh, it is nice looking once you once you see what it's used for. Uh, now you might not notice it that much. But yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of position random, I think. 0.7 and offset 0.45. There we go. Yeah, this looks decent. So we need to get that kind of circular shape. And we do a histogram scan from this. So histogram scan and position 1. There we go. And we need to do a levels. And for levels, we just bring the white value here and bring the black value a bit here as well. So something like this seems good. Blend and we're gonna blend it on, of course, multiply. And we get this sort of a weird shape. So now we do a transform 2D and what we use it for is actually quite interesting. So now we're gonna plug it into the blend node and the blend node is uh, actually max lighting. There it is. And now we, so how you do this to make this easier, double click on the blend node and if you click once on the transform 2D, you will get the options of the transformation 2D node but you will be able to see how it affects the blend node. So if I move it here, you can see it very clearly. So let's do zero by zero. I don't know if you can lock these values, uh, no, not now, but anyways, so let's just get them small, something like this, and we need 0, 0 to center it perfectly, and there it is. Now, we don't need tiling in this, so as, as per usual, we do here, absolute, and no tiling, sorry, no tiling here, yeah, and we get that shape feel. But uh, what's even better is if we make it even smaller. So something like this I'm, I'm content with. Um, <clears throat> and this is going to be our main shape. But before we do that, we do need to do a weird height blend here. So what we do with the weird height blend we get our clover here, so our auto levels, and we get this into this. And now, this is a very, very weird one. So contrast 1. Uh, let me see if I plugged it in correctly. Yes, I did. And we need the height mask. And the height mask, we just invert grayscale. There it is. Uh, we invert the grayscale. And here it's actually quite interesting. But let me see. So now we need tile samplers. So let's do tile sampler. And we're going to put this into a pattern input. 
pattern input, there it is. And let's see the pattern input. So, uh, there are a few things we want to tweak, of course. So let's make them a little bit bigger. And scale random, definitely some scale random, we want it. Position random, three. Yeah, that, that seems nice. Uh, and offset 0.5 maybe. Yeah, something like that is decent. Uh, rotation, rotation random, bump it out. And after that, we would want a mask random. So, mask random just controls how many flowers you want to have. So, let's put it to a high value like this for starters. Just for starters. And color random, just some variation. 0.4 is fine. And we can bump this out as well a little bit. Yeah, this, this seems completely fine. Uh, what we can do here also, we can do scale. There it is. Yeah, this is good. Uh, so, we need another tile sampler now. And it's exactly this one. But instead of this pattern input, we're going to use this one. Uh, you will see how we use that one in a moment. So, after that, uh, we do levels. And the levels are as usual. We just want to lower down the values. And histogram scan. Histogram scan. Position, contrast, let me just check something real quick. Hmm. It actually does make a difference, doesn't it? So, one is kind of rough, but but 0.99 is good, okay. I will, I will keep it 0.199 for now. And uh, I just want to get a rear out here. get a reroute here and just gonna place it like that here so we are gonna frame this and we're gonna say clovers and that's what I'm gonna do for this video and in the next one we'll be finishing the material completely so see you then